Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have a very special looking bottle on the cask. It's the Big Ben special release. It's a blended scotch whiskey and it represents the landmark, the famous landmark of London town. And uh, the Big Ben is a clock tower that um, is very famous for the, the, the ringing of the bells and stands for Englishness. So yeah, we have a scotch in an English bottle. Mm, okay, let's have a look. It certainly is a very nice present and certainly people recognize the, uh, the Britishness of the bottle. Let's have a look how the bottle looks like. Ooh, and it's really a big Ben. I have to say, I'm, I'm really amazed how how nice that is looking. It even has the clock in it. Really cool, really cool. It's uh, it it looks like a 07 bottle, as that's is it is as tall as it is, and the diameter is probably as much as well. It's not round, but it's only half a liter, so I'm guessing the the thickness of the bottle is pretty big as well. But we are uh, a channel about whiskey, so it's about how it tastes. Is this actually a cheap blended whiskey or is this uh, a premium one? And from the from the look of the of the cork, or I would rather say cap, it's a it's a gimmick bottle for a bar because it has a, a plastic cap and uh, a pouring device in it so you don't pour out that much and you can lift the bottle up high and still pour a normal amount which is uh, very important for uh, barkeepers. Let's put it here. But I think it makes a, a nice gimmick for at home and you, you like the British culture then you probably like this bottle as well. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Fruity, orangey, but the fruitiness is like, it's a bit rotten. It's a, like a, it's like a apple that just sat on the, on the kitchen table for, I don't know, maybe two weeks. And you realize that it's, it's getting, it's getting brown and it's getting mushy. It's a bit malty as well. And uh, a faint whiff of smoke, but also a little alcoholic note in there. And it's uh, it's a bit it's a bit sharp. It's attacking on the nose. It's not pleasantly as a single malt whiskey, very round and very complex. It's more straightforward fruitiness bit of maltiness bit of alcohol oranges mm. Mm. sweet easy on the tongue a bit weaker as it only has 40% ABV, 80 proof for all you Americans. It's mm, sweet, grain, malt, not much. It's, it's pleasant to drink as it is only 40%. It's fairly soft, fairly elegant, but it's not it's not complex. It doesn't have that much deepness. It's a, I would say it's a, not a sipping whiskey, but it's like a, a whiskey that is meant to be just enjoyed on the side. Mm. Just to have a bit of a pleasant, sweet fruitiness in your mouth, but uh, I wouldn't call it a premium whiskey. I would probably call it a a normal whiskey with a very nice looking bottle. So if you're interested in the British culture, then it might be just the thing that you're looking for on your shelf. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. 
and see you next time.